everyone and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. So right now what you guys are viewing is old footage of my master bedroom before I did the makeover. So as you guys can see I was right in the process of painting when I stopped and pulled out my phone and started recording. So what I'm actually doing in this bedroom is painting it and then I'm also going to be adding the board and batten feature wall behind the bed. So when I recorded this video back in 2021 I neglected to record footage of me creating the board and batten wall so in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a mini demonstration on how to create that look in your space everyone so right quickly I want to actually show you guys an example of how I created the board and batten wall in my master bedroom um, at the time when I completed com <laughs> completed this project two years ago unfortunately I did not record any footage of me completing it so this is the purpose of this example so I'm actually going to be using this blank wall space here in my master bedroom uh, there's nothing here as you can see this is ceiling or whatever there's nothing here so we're going to use this little space as an example to create the board and batten look and hopefully anyone who um, is interested in pursuing this in their home um, you will have step-by-step -step instructions on how I constructed this um, feature wall or whatever and um, I know a lot of times whenever you see a project already completed it's not the same as seeing someone completed step by step so that's the whole purpose of me doing this example right now so I hope you guys can take something away from this video and I hope you enjoy it so let's go ahead and get started with creating the board and batten wall Okay, so here's the wall area that I'm going to be using as the demonstration in this video. Um, so this is just the wall between my bathroom and my closet area. So let's get started. So here's a look at the MDF boards that I will be using in this demonstration. I think I purchased these from either Home Depot or Lowe's. I know that both stores carry them. Um, it's been about two years, you guys, so I can't remember exactly where I purchased them. But um, I will be using these and I will have the information linked in the description as well. So when creating this design, one of the things I like to do is to build out a frame. Um, so typically I'll make like a nice frame and then I'll put the design in the middle of that. So um, another thing that I tend to do whenever I'm creating the board and batten look is I usually carry the look all the way up to the top of the ceiling. I'm not able to do that in this demonstration because I only had a little bit of material to work with. Um, this is just scrap material that I had on hand. I didn't went out and purchase any boards or anything. I just pretty much use what I had from my previous project so once again this is just an example um, it's not perfect or whatever it's just to kind of give you guys an idea um, I will also say that normally you wouldn't have so many pieces coming down vertically um, normally this would just be one straight uh, piece of board but as you guys can see I'm using scrap so some pieces are long some are short you won't be able to really tell the difference once I caulk it and paint it but just um, so you guys understand and know that that's why I'm using these shorter pieces because once again this is just scrap that I had on hand
Okay, everybody, so as you can see, everything is nice and cold. I'm trying to figure out where we, yeah, there we go. So I've already caulked everything. Go back a little bit. So here's what it looks like. So the only thing that's missing from this uh, project here is whenever I do or completed the board and batten feature behind my bed, I actually framed out the entire wall. So technically, <laughs> I should have had another piece of board going across here to like frame it out, but I didn't went out and purchase new um, boards. These were actually scraps that I had left over from my previous project. So I didn't wanna go out and purchase anything new. So I just used what I had on hand. But typically, whenever you're completing this project, you want to do it from the ceiling, frame it from the ceiling, and just cover both corners of the wall. And, you know, it looks a lot better that way. But this is just an example. This is just a sample to kind of walk you guys uh, through the entire process to show you what to do. So, of course, it's not going to be perfect. Okay. So just wanted to share that a little bit with you guys. Right, you guys so here's the finished look of the wall um, I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and got some really good tips on how to create the board and batten look I think it actually turned out pretty cute so I'm going to go ahead and just keep this little design here until I make over my master bedroom in a few months so I will get to enjoy it for a little while at least but I hope you guys enjoyed um, this part of the video and let's go ahead and move on to the laundry room you guys so what you're looking at is 2021 video footage of what my laundry room used to look like before I renovated it so as you guys can see here uh, by this little clip here my dryer was in desperate need of help um, this dryer is extremely old and the top of it was completely rusty so I use this product called appliance epoxy and I'll link the information um, in the description about that as well but what I did in this laundry room I basically ripped out all the wire shelves Thing. Um, and I actually built custom shelves and it was actually my first time building custom shelves so um, I went ahead and ripped out all the shelving and as you can see there's holes literally everywhere so uh, I had my work cut out for me so I'm just you know putting this in evenly making sure that I smooth it out real nice and cover all the holes this is a pretty easy process okay everyone so i finished spackling the entire wall as you can see so i'm going to let that dry and while that's drying i'm going to go ahead and um, start staining my shelves and so all right, you guys, so this is basically what the laundry space looked like after I painted and installed the custom shelves that I built. So I basically painted the middle of the wall a French gray color, and I got a piece of cardboard and cut it in the shape of a triangle. I also got a permanent marker and I drew those lines, those triangular lines all over the wall. I saw another YouTuber do this two years ago and I thought it was such a creative idea. So that's what I did for that portion of the wall. The two sides of the wall I actually painted white just to open up and brighten the space a little bit more. But as you guys can see, the custom shelves look spectacular.
guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and found some inspiration for projects you can do in your home. Don't forget that this video is actually part two of a three-part series of my 2021 home renovations. So part three will actually conclude with my kitchen makeover. And if this is the type of content that you guys find interesting and you enjoy it, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. In the meantime, I hope you stay blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye now.